Hey everybody, it is Daniel here for Mobile Syrup, and I have something very special for you. This is the retail version of the Galaxy Tab 10.1 from Samsung, and uh, I've shown you the limited edition that was released from Google I.O., but this here is the um, retail version. It'll be coming in July to Canada, uh, likely for $4.99 for the 16 gig and $5.99 for the 32. Now this is shipping with Android 3.1 and uh, let me just take you through some of the features. So firstly uh, we can see that it's um, quite a thin device. Uh, it's actually thinner than the iPad 2 at 8.4 millimeters and uh, the bezel is quite a bit thinner than most of the other honeycomb tablets that I've interacted with. Uh, on the top of the device you have the power button and the volume rocker over there. Very simple, um, no frills. There's the 3.5 millimeter jack as well on the top. You got a speaker on the right side. On the bottom there's just the one dock connector. It's the proprietary Samsung dock connector that provides um, USB power and uh, HDMI out as well as the dock connector that will ship um, at the same time. On the left side is the other speaker grill and that's it. On the back of the device you see very iPad-like stylings uh, with the white background. There will also be a silver background, a backing that uh, is much like this chrome here but it will be over the entire back. Now this is a 3 megapixel camera and an LED flash over there and uh, on the front of the device is a 2 megapixel front facing camera. So the device that I got does not have the TouchWiz widgets installed. This is really just plain Jane honeycomb but um, you can see that it is going to be very capable and quite fast. This is running a Tegra 2 processor and um, you can see right here, let me just connect to the Wi-Fi really quickly. Okay, so we're connected to Wi-Fi, so let's take a look at the New York Times. This will open up the Android 3.1 browser, which is very much like Chrome. You can see how quickly the full um, desktop version of the page loaded up. You can see once it loads it is very smooth to pinch to zoom. And at the top here you have your address bar and if you want to open up a new tab uh, you can do that as well over here. So you can see this is one of the uh, Google Let's turn up the sound on here so you can, maybe this doesn't have the right driver to work with this doodle, but uh, you can see that the HTML5 doodle runs perfectly fine on this browser, which is very cool. Uh, let's go into the settings here, and I will show you, so Android 3.1. And uh, there's, there will be a 3G version, version as well, um, released with Rogers Bell and TELUS later on in the summer. But uh, at the moment, they are releasing only the um, Wi-Fi version. So I'm just trying to find somewhere that differentiates this. Um, but I don't think this version has anything. So you can see the 16 gig comes with 13.27 gigabytes free space. And uh, there's this curious arrow here that's permanently there on the bottom bar, but I can't interact with it. I'm sure that's something that will be added later. So you can see this version uh, comes with Google Music, which is this render script-like view. You don't, I don't have any music on here, so I can't use it. Um, let's look at the camera software. And yes, I'm using an iPhone to film this. I apologize for the quality. So you see that this is the this is the um, proprietary Samsung camera software. You can see over here is this big button. I'm just going to take a shot of the Wildfire S. 
Now the quality of the camera is not great at 3 megapixels, but it'll certainly do the job, but how often do you really expect to um, carry this and take photos with it? You can see that the gallery um, works very much like it does on Android. You have the ability to share your photos with any of the apps that are pre-installed. You can also transfer it uh, over Bluetooth and uh, upload it to Picasa, or you can create a slideshow just like that. So that's very nice, and the controls will disappear when it's in movie or video mode. Uh, you can see here the apps. There's really nothing pre-installed on this particular device, but there will be some Samsung apps that are installed on the retail version. Um, again, I'm not logged in here, so I can't really do much with that. So that's Google Books, and uh, it comes pre-installed with Pulse. So Pulse is an RSS reader content manager here uh, so you can see you can scroll through all of these different articles scroll horizontally vertically you can choose an article and it'll pop up on the right side and then you can read through it or if you want to go directly to the browser and you can do that in here as well so it actually offers a lot of versatility and there are more and more honeycomb apps that are being developed with these new APIs that Google made available. Now, in some instances, some apps will come up with this fourth button on the bottom bar, and that's just a context menu, the same way that you have a menu button on Android uh, phones, and then you can, say, change the text size or open it in the browser, and that will just launch the Honeycomb browser right there. So, you, you know, I really have not noticed any slowdown. Um, Samsung's done a fantastic job of keeping the OS lightweight and um, I think that this is the best Tegra 2 processor uh, running Tegra 2 that I've seen. Uh, they also pre-install um, Movie Studio here which you can use to edit movies directly on the device. Now I don't have anything shot here but I just wanted to show you this is the Samsung keyboard that's very similar to the one um, released on the Galaxy Tab, although it has a dedicated caps lock button and you can hold or double click this one and you will have caps lock there as well. So that's that and there's a dedicated emoticon button. Uh, you can also use XT9 and um, automatic full stop when you press the spacebar twice. It supports voice input and a couple other things. So um, I'm not sure if I like this as well as the um, as the regular honeycomb keyboard it uh, doesn't have the row of button uh, of numbers on top either the asus one does which i don't like so this has a secondary function to bring up all the symbols and yeah i mean i think it it looks um pretty good and it works quite well uh, it could stand to be a little bit taller maybe somewhere around there but that's just me quipping so that is a quick look at the Galaxy Tab 10.1 being released in Canada next month, and uh, this will uh, price points are not known for sure, but likely 4.99 for the 16 gig and 5.99 for the 32 gig. So thanks so much for watching and uh, take care. Bye.